What's integral to me? My heart. I think the heart is absolutely the essence yeah. of everything. I'll share a story with you. When I had finished undergraduate school, I had done a lot of musical comedy up to that point. But I decided, okay, I want to learn, I want to learn more about acting. So I applied to SMU in Dallas, Texas. I had $50 to my name. I got accepted. I thought, okay, I'm accepted. I don't know how or why I'm going down there, but something is telling me to go down there and do this. I get there. <laughs> I go in to meet the head of the department. He says, welcome, you can start your classes, we'll set up your program. And I said, yes, that's very nice, but I don't have any money to go to school. Well, he coughed and sputtered for a moment, and he said, well, you'll have to get a job, and then when you've saved your money, then you can start your classes. So I left. I went out very discouraged, spent the night over at a friend's house, got up the next morning and I said, ah, I'm not leaving Dallas. I got the inspiration to get up, get dressed and go back over to the theater department. I walk into that room and I just stood there. And the head of the department, whom I'd seen the day before, comes out and he says, oh, you, I've been looking for you, come here. He says, one of our graduate students decided not to come back. We're giving you his full scholarship and a monthly stipend. That put me through one of the most extraordinary experiences of learning and my actor, tra actor training that I could have ever had. And I learned my craft. That part that is integral to my heart spoke loudly enough for me to follow it. And that's what I did. So there I was living in my integrity, integral to who I am, really who I am. Not the fear-based part, but that part that knew, no, no, you'll see, you'll see, come on. And I did. <laughs> and it worked out. <laughs>